Mustafa, I think in the context of today, very happy, you showed good character. Um, that aside, you know, we've been getting better. Game one, we are sort of okay. Game two, obviously not great, weather conditions and just struggle at set piece. But, you know, we saw good improvements in the last, in the second half against Argentina. Uh, we went through the Irish game. We were actually in it for 70 odd minutes. And they literally had five opportunities and they took four. We had 17 and we only took two. And today we had a plan and I think obviously we stuck to it. We suffered a bit at the end, injuries, cramps, uh, but the character was amazing. And again, um, third place is not what we came for, but for us as a group, important. And for these guys who are experiencing international rugby for the first time, and especially against the packs that we played against, I thought the boys did very well. Coach, um, Keenan, Dave Maverick, um, speaking about what you said, can you just hold on that, you spoke about um, the team getting better as the games went on. Um, do you think, because of that, do you think if we had a tournament before, like the, for example, the Northern Amos, we had the Six Nations, do you think going into another tournament now, the team's back to where it needs to be, had you been going into another tournament? It would have helped, there's no doubt about that, but uh, you know, it's also quite, we, we need games, let me start there, we need to play games before the competition, uh, we need to play those games so the guys can understand the intensity, the physicality, the sort of pressure that they've experienced in the last five games. It, it's not the only thing, I think one of the other things you normally get to see with the northern sides, most of the players are in, in academies, but they train as senior players, so there's a certain level of maturity that comes with that, there's a certain level of experience, it's, it's a number of things, I mean, you know, next year we probably get 10 games before the tournament then we still come third and be, you know, people will say, what are you doing? So there's, there's quite a number of things that we probably need to get right that would help us going forward. And sorry, the satisfaction of getting one over uh, Northern Amos would be like in uh, These guys have been, I mean, okay, Paul, uh, they've all played against England, but I was trying to explain to the rest of the team the importance of the fixture. Uh, um, but I guess coming from where we were after losing in the semi-final, uh, we didn't actually have to do much because they sort of figured out a way to, to get one over them. But yeah, for us it's just important. I know, you know, the tournament is not only about winning, we need to develop these guys, but it is important to, you know, to get a third place, especially at home. Coach Van Pitoria, St. Jack Uh Now, where would you rate your defensive effort today? I mean, looking at that England pack, just by looking at them, they'll seem quite a lot bigger than your pack, but it seemed like today the boys were up for it and didn't stand like a meter back. Um, so where, in terms of the tournament so far, where would you rate your defensive effort today? To be fair, I, I think we've been defending well. I mean, against Georgia, we made an error and we probably got lazy on the fold a little bit. But, you know, Italy scored off malls against us and they, you know, had a pick and go, I think, where they went through us. But Argentina couldn't really do much as well in terms of that. And even the Irish, I know they've got, a, they've got two kicks over when we're really under the pump, but overall I think the guys have really been doing well. Um, our system is a little bit different compared to how they defended their franchises. It's taken us some time to adjust, but over time the confidence has been coming. I mean, I think defence is one, but just the will. The will today was, was massive, uh, the character was massive, and that's something that you don't generally get to coach. You know, at some point, it clicks and the players sort of went to, went to that. Uh, Coach, uh, Dylan is a rugby magazine. Uh, how many of this current squad are going to be back next year, do you think? Um, just sitting here for a rough estimate. I know it's difficult to say, yeah. but... Well, I, I said last year that they need to deserve a place first in the squad before we can do that. And, you know, the boys that are sitting here know it's not easy. But I think in the current squad, there's five. Um, and there are a number of guys that were in the wider squad that were really, really close to making it. And hopefully we'll see them again next year. Uh, yeah, it's quite exciting to, you know, have a few guys that we can work with going forward. And then just for Paul, um, just explain how you guys sort of picked yourselves up after that disappointing second off against Ireland and uh, just the performance of get, producing this good sort of characterful performance against England. Yeah, Dylan. Um I think again, I don't feel we, we disappointed ourselves in the take and all. There's probably 10 or 15 minutes where we will let ourselves down a bit. Um, but we said to each other that we want to leave a legacy and that, that we want to give pride back to this jersey. Um, I know there were some ups and downs, but we wanted to end on a high note. Um, so I'm very proud of, of you can't fault the effort. Um, 
they can be detailed mistakes and stuff, but the effort and the fight you can't take away from the team. So, yeah, I'm very proud of how we showed that tonight. Uh, a guy like Andy Sibirhoven coming into the I mean, he had an absolutely massive performance. And I mean, how does how is, oh, <laughs> yeah. what can you tell us about that? No, you should have seen how the boys reacted yesterday when he got his cap. Mm -hmm. his cap in, yeah, and it was massive. You can, you can see them laughing. I mean, Henny's been with us for about two years now. Last year's a 19 year old, and then obviously this year's a 20 year old. Just didn't really make the cut. Um, but he probably resembles everything about this team. You know, we brought him in to help us at the line out contesting, we then sent him away. And every single time you say, Henny, chief, we need you for two days. No, sir, no problem. Okay, you see, Henny, sorry, man, go back. And he's just kept on grinding. Um, and you're never happy with his injuries. Uh, you know, obviously we lost JF, who was quite important to us. But I don't think I've ever been happier to make that sub in terms of bringing Henny on. And the way the boys actually welcomed him, the way the boys are so pumped up for him. And you could see, I mean, he wanted to perform today. But not only that, I think he really, truly, you know, reflects what this team is about. When the chips are down, you need guys like that. He's not the biggest guy, we know that. Uh, but sure, he's got a heart of a lie in that. Kevin, congratulations on your excellent performance today. I think we can add, well, well, ask the question to the other guys but also, what did the experience at the World Cup mean to you and what did you learn and what will you take forward from it? Um, it was an unbelievable experience to be part of a group. Um, just how we drive each other every day at each session. And what I will take back is um, definitely to be mentally strong. Especially tough mornings three, for three months. Um, so I think I'm mentally stronger where I was before the camp. Um, and as well to stand your ground, um, get off the line, make a tackle. Because if you have the big heart, you can stop anyone. So, yeah. Um, just for you, Mike, can, um, you might, this is your second season with uh, uh, the Springbok Juniors. Um, just what is your experience been like? Um, obviously, you're a senior player, and um, next year you're obviously no longer. So, what can you take out from this um, being to senior rugby as well? Um, yeah, I think I've learned a lot over the past two years. Um, obviously, last year in Italy, and now this year, home World Cup. Um, obviously, I'm very grateful to even get the opportunity to play two years. Um, I know a lot of guys want to be sitting here where I'm today. So, I mean, first of all, I'm very grateful. Um, and then, yeah, just that, that experience of playing on a high level and, and, and testing yourself against the best in the world. Um, I think it will stand me good in the future and hopefully I can continue building on that. But I think the biggest thing I'll take away is just that, that blessing, that gratefulness to, to even get the chance to be here, uh, never mind two years, just this year in, in any case, yeah. Uh, to the players, I mean, bit tongue in cheek, but how does it, how does it feel to end the match with clean jerseys? <laughs> <laughs> Your conditions. <laughs> the, the jerseys don't look clean to me. <laughs> But it was it was a tough encounter. Like like Paula said, we wanted to put pride back into the jersey, and that was that was what it was all about. You know, we came into the competition to win it, but unfortunately, it didn't happen for us. But the effort that we showed tonight really really boosts our confidence and how we ended the tournament. Same same question, all of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to add on that. We talked a lot about the 17, um, 14th July. Um, and that we want to create, create special memories. So obviously we wanted to play in this game that's on now, um, but still I feel we've created a memory that, that I will remember for the rest of my life, and I'm sure um, us as a group um, will remember for the rest of my life, so yeah. And then just a final question to Bafana. Uh, Bafana, is there any word for the crowd in you know, the Western Cape? Uh, the weather's been, you know, it's been quite uh, horrible at times, but uh, there's been good support, especially at Athens Stadium as well. Is there any word for that? Oh, it's been phenomenal, and, and not just for us, but for the greater rugby crowd. I've spoken to a number of coaches uh, that are in the tournament, and they say everywhere they drive, everywhere they, every field they're on, there's people coming to support. Obviously, it's school holidays as well, so that helps a lot. Uh, the nicest thing for me and watching is that regardless of which team is playing, you know, the support there. I saw people today watching Japan, and I saw Japanese flags from local people, um, and that's amazing. That's what it's about. Uh, today was massive for us because of how we played against Ireland, and obviously also how we played against Italy. Uh, you know, the crowds came out in numbers, but we didn't deliver the performances. So Argentina was a little bit of a challenge.